A lot of the cards I do, the characters are all just the faces. I must admit, I prefer just drawing faces anyway. So, these are the basics to drawing faces. And if you want to do monsters, monsters as well. I've got lots of paper, so here we go. Basics circle, like an elongated circle. A line, so you've always done this like a hot cross bun. This is, it could be a straight line, but I find it's better to do a curved line. Also, when you do a curved line, you can almost see the eyes, so you can see what you're going to draw. Um, so, okay, so if I just draw a normal character, so here you see I've just drawn a square for the nose, the mouth. Normally, eyes like this, you normally have an eye in between. This nose is halfway between the eye and the chin. This mouth is halfway, even though it's not quite halfway, but halfway between the nose and the chin, normally. I mean, you can mess around and do what you want. When you're doing strong guys, you know, the neck basically, it's pretty parallel to the head. Weak guys, the normal guys, then here, big guys here. Traps always come out pretty soon after. The neck traps. And if you're just doing the top, you might want to do like the chest. So there's the chest. Yeah, we're getting it all. Okay, so now whatever you want to do, so you might want to put eyebrows in there to show a bit of character. The nose, oh, I've just done this, so I'm just trying to just draw the nostrils. So you just draw a basic line there. Your lips, just on the basic lip. Eyes, sort of like a half circle, really. When you're doing quick eyes, you can just do like a little bit where the light's coming from this angle. Cheekbones, so just little sort of, as if you're carving away the drawing, really. And the chin, like that, ears. Is I would, this is how I cheat anyway. I did. You've got a little bit here, the round of the rim. This is like that little sticky out bit, and you just have like a it's sort of all rounded. So you want to make sure you've got at least one, and there's normally like two. So you've got that the little roundy bit, and you might just do like a one, two thing. And they normally have like a lower section as well. So that's kind of how you do the ear. So there's your chin, head, hair. So the standard guys. This hair is a spiky bit at the front, spiky bit on the side there, and then you just start doing whatever shape you want. Spiky hair here. So neck. You've got like normally have this where you got an Adam's apple. And there's normally like little strain like um, tendons and stuff around the neck. Let's say do that. When you're doing the chest. If you're doing him a strong guy, you want to look like it's coming out from the chest. So you got that. So I'll go over it in pen, in blue pen. I use a fountain pen. I think it gives a good line. You can do anything. A biro, when you do a biro, it might break up. Also, biro doesn't like always drawing on pencil. Um, you got to make sure it doesn't bleed. Some inks do bleed into the paper. So here, we just start it off. I mean, I don't mind, again, I always say I don't mind it looking a bit rough, really. Because you can chase this thing, you chase this perfection. We can look at like a lot of other drawings by, maybe not the pros, because if the real pros, like Marvel pros, they're just amazing anyway, it's just ridiculous. But you get like the next level down where you get like more of the crappier comics and uh, they'll try and make it look better by being all neat and stuff and it'll just look rubbish, so... If you're a mere mortal, um, I quite like this sort of rough view. I think I said it before, I always, this dude, Quinton Blake, he's very rough and ready, but um, brilliant. So I always try and copy his sort of design, or at least how he works, like no messing about. I mean, here he's got a long elbow. I mean, what the hell, it just looks amazing here, just like that, boom, 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 bits of hand, you know, not messing about. So here we go, eyebrows. So. Okay, I put wrinkles just to put that. So when you do wrinkles, you know, like this. 
eyes. You want to just draw the top bit and then get into the eye straight away because you want to make sure you've got that right. There's a little bit of the side like the tear duct. Do that again. So these could be, you can have these any shape you want. You don't, almost, you don't even need to do it. You could just dot them out if you wanted to. Millions of different ways of doing it. Bridge of the nose there. You just, you might not even need the rest. You could put some here if you wanted to, or you could just put the nostrils. Your lips, I'm making a bit more serious. So rather than a smile, you could just do a normal face. Here, the cheekbones, chin, bit, bit of a cool tall chin. Racing car dude, retired. Um, ears, sort of the roundy bit of the ear comes round. And go like that. Now, obviously, you could have hair here if you wanted to. Just depends what kind of style you want. So here now is some kind of looks like a blonde bodybuilder. What's his name? I can't remember what his name is. Looking like that blonde bodybuilder dude. But um. Yeah, you sort of draw the rip muscles in. And on my stuff, that's normally where I sort of start because I'm doing them from a card, so I don't really want to be messing about with things like that. And these aren't the real patterns, these are just old designs, but I don't always want to be messing about drawing at all, especially if I'm going to draw it any number of them. So I might just want to do it quick, like here, plague. So you got that. You might just draw the next sort of um, delts here, the shoulders. These sort of join in, what is it, like a lazy W or something. That's how it joins in with the shoulders. You might want to watch a lot of pros as well. They always have websites about how to draw stuff. But this is like the Gaz Basics. So if you want to do the shading, depending on where the light comes from, imagine where the black is. Or sometimes, I think I had it where, where is the light. So if it's from, I normally do it from above, um, you know, but you could do it from the side. So if you do it from the side, all this will be dark, we dark where the cheekbones are, we dark here, dark by the side of the nose, dark here by the eye, dark on this side, dark all in there, you could have dark in the ear, extra dark in that bit of the ear, dark here on the eyes, this would be dark, fading away, dark here, so you just keep cross hatching, so there's one side you could cross hatch, has a bit of interest to it all. Here under the chin, that'd be very dark. You see, it's got nothing there. So you've got dark under the chin, dark here, dark all here. So that's how you sort of add this. Add the uh, there's a bit of light maybe on this side, and then you just have to keep. I always find that rotating your head, looking at the drawing at different angles, just to make sure you're sort of working it right. So that is how you draw a strong looking dude. Maybe put the side bits in the mouth there. You've also got that bit if you wanted to carry on with the anatomy stuff. I probably won't use that guy, but just to show it. When you're doing women, good idea if you're a guy drawing women or if you're a woman drawing women, just think of the people you know. When you're drawing any kind of character, if you want to try and make them consistent, just think of people you know. So if you were, um, you know, it's just easier, really. You can always make them look the same. So with women, it's always good to have a bit of an angled eye so they look a bit more, I don't know, catty or something. Get the old side bits there. I think with women, it's always the lips that give it away, but you start putting... do You can do the same with dudes, and they always look like dudes in drag. The old point with this is you don't want to be putting in as much bulky features in there. And so there's your neck. You don't obviously give them a massive neck unless you want to make them like the powerful nails type. Oh, obviously you've got the boobage as well, so you can draw that. So there you just have a bald person. So if you obviously want to do a woman, you want to give them hair, give them lip eyebrows here. So whatever hair you want to give them, so spanning from this side. You just sort of draw in flows of hair. And then you kind of go, oh, that looks a bit weird. Just keep going, just keep going. And this you can have an undercut on this side, you see. It's a bit unusual. So that's how you kind of do it there. Again, you can pen it in if you want. So just the nose here is very quick. Lips. Eyes. Oh, see, so so it almost comes different when you start getting the pen and you're being quick, but it's gone a bit Chinesey looking. 
So I'm just being quick here with the straight edges. So you can see there, I overdid it a bit, so I've got to try and build up a little bit of meat on that side. And do it here, maybe maybe just like board, do the dots, dots I said like I have a shaved head really. Square the ear a bit. Maybe put a little bit behind the hair. Earrings, I don't know. Just over there. Maybe do some lines and then the Ruti style ragey eyes. Um then I don't know, necklace, whatever. Cleavage. Cleavage? Yeah. That's right. And uh, there you go, woman. Next, what are we doing? What time are we on? Ten minutes. Right, I do a monster. So when you're doing anything that's unusual, or you can do this with normal characters, it's not always good to like. Now I'm going to do the nose. Now I'm going to do the eyes. You just want to sort of get a general sort of feel. So get the head like that. So you're going to do a guy that is a monster and he's like wrapped up maybe he's only got one eye that comes through the rest of him's all wrapped up maybe um he has mouth see when you start drawing lines like this just rough lines you go oh maybe i just make them his teeth or something maybe like a mummy or something like that and then whatever you can just start making it look interesting so again this is a, some kind of mummy-ish dude that's the basic uh, so you know it's going to look okay-ish and you sort of know what's going to happen so start drawing the eye so you know i'm not following any of these rules so much now here with mummies you might want to sort of stick like the fact that it goes both directions but this wrapped up close that off i help the printing do the teeth see sometimes by closing it it looks rubbish you might be better off just letting it like without closing it off so the mouth you can colour it in if you wanted to or you can just leave it and wait till you um wait till you do it on computer. See this bit you could have like actual skin, it doesn't all have to be wrapped up. Maybe put an eyelid there, uh, a pupil even. Um, close it off. So this is a I'm on, I'm actually on like episode twenty or something. The first 19 have been in one start-up style. I've, I've changed the uh, introduction and put in some other card, finished cards that, well, they're actually old school finished cards that were of um, all the different, uh, the full body ones, but I don't mind doing the full body ones, but they take a lot longer to draw. And I don't actually enjoy, enjoy drawing certain parts of the anatomy. I can't be asked with hands drawing them all the time and feet and fact that you've got to draw two and the fact that they've got to be the same or look at least the same it's had a lot of hassle so I've just sort of thought I'll just keep to the bit that I like doing which is like the face so I just give the basic packs going on wrap them up shoulders so that's how you do a monster we'll do another one just for the final bit uh, again with the eyes so there's loads of different things. So in this case, he's looking sort of down. When you look down, everything closes here. So the mouth and nose become closer because that's how it looks when you're looking at him. I'll give him spiky ears. So any, normally, when as soon as you do that, you're like that. Oh, he's got to be a brainy one. But whatever, you can like mental him up here. You can make him look like a lunatic. <laughs> so, okay. So here we have Doody. I've made him look more like a lunatic. Wolf him up, wolf him up. That'll do. Get the eyes. Oh, quick cut. Get the eyes. Eye one, eye two. See, it's a bit more closed. Mouth. So, yeah, sometimes it starts looking a bit bare. So, you might want to put a little bit more just to like loosen it up. A lot of this is plain. You've got to keep drawing a lot, really. Okay, people. Well, I won't be finishing this guy in front of you, but I'll go for my dinner. But I'll see you later. Enjoy it. Bye-bye.